Good evening, I'm Lena Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Petronas has maintained its position as the world's strongest oil and gas brand for the third consecutive year. The company also remains among the top 10 most valuable oil and gas brands globally in 2022. The National Oil Company in a statement said the rank has been attributed to the result of its brand strength index, which increased from 87 in 2021 to 87.7 this year. According to Brand Finance, Petronas is well-placed to further strengthen its brand as they aim to provide a diversified range of energy options. This is in line with its aspiration to achieve net-zero carbon emissions by 2050. Hong Leong Investment Bank believes it is too early to turn bearish on the plantation sector, as crop recovery remains uncertain at this juncture. The crop recovery would remain uncertain this year as palm output recovery in Malaysia might disappoint because of labour shortage and under-application of fertiliser due to its shortfall and high prices. The firm said La Nina is expected to return for a third year in a row by September or October and would likely affect palm production as it coincides with seasonal pickup in palm production cycle and upcoming soybean planting in South America, particularly Brazil. It added that prices of crude palm oil and soybean tend to strengthen as La Nina sets in and weaken when the weather anomaly subsides. Fitch Solutions Country Risk and Industry Research has revised its fiscal deficit forecast for Malaysia for 2022 to 6.5% of GDP from 6.3% previously. The slight downward revision reflects a net negative balance between two opposing forces affecting the fiscal situation, higher petroleum-related revenues and higher government spending to keep inflation at bay. The firm noted while the government had announced plans to consolidate public finances over the coming months, there are still downside risks to the fiscal forecasts. The government is likely to prioritise shoring up support ahead of the general election that is due by September 2023, which expects to take place sometime in the second half of this year. The Real Estate and Housing Developers Association Malaysia, REHDA, will work closely with the government to address the rising construction cost problems faced by developers. The spike of material price become the worrying trend for developers, and this can be done by reducing contributor and compliance costs. As developers, as um, responsible developers, uh, we try to you know, uh, manage our costs uh, in various ways. Um, so that we're able to contain the selling price that's something that can be suggested by the consumer market. Uh, additionally, because as uh, developers were unable to control the raw material prices, these are like, external factors, we try to work very closely with the government uh, so that other costs such as um, contribution costs that we have to uh, you know, provide during the project and uh, compliance costs can be reduced. So the association hopes savings from the reductions can be passed on to consumers. Meanwhile, in terms of affordability, it said the issue needs to be viewed in the ecosystem as a whole, not only house prices, but also the consumer's ability to get loan or finance assistance. Consumer electrical and electronics retailer Senhang New Retail Burhat has allocated 74.3 million ringgit for capital expenditure this year. According to its executive chairman, Lim Kim Heng, majority of the CAPEX will be utilized to launch 21 new or upgraded stores this year, amounting to 49 million ringgit. So we want to win in every business territory within the five kilometers of every stop. So that's, uh, that's you know, uh, we, we allocated 60% of our profit, you know, over 100 over millions, 160 million, something like that, for the next uh, three years. So the, our, our focus will stay there until we achieve every store territory champion. The company targets to double its market share from 13% in 2020 to 30% by 2025. 
The number of new stores for this year represent about one-third of its total 61 outlets planned from this year to 2024. And that's all for Bizworld today. I'm Lena Hassanel. Thank you for watching and keep tuning in to TV Tiga.